Welcome Planeswalkers to the Collector Mini YouTube channel. Uh, we have got a match, or game two for match two, our other semi-final game. Uh, right now Colin is up a game, is that correct? Colin is up a game. He, uh, from what I understand, because I wasn't watching, but David got land flooded. So, you know, land can be the, the downfall for you, as we've seen multiple times already. Yes. Um, um, yeah, so some quick sideboarding, it looks like, some shuffling here. And I've told him not to get started yet, um, just so we can go let him know when, when we're ready for him to start. I, like I need that to plan that. This, the, which one? The Millennium Falcon. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I guess they're both Star Wars, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we need um, David's, or no, Colin's life total on board. Um, I'll go let him know that it needs to be a little bit brought in. Okay. Uh, so, did, did you see anything about the Hepatra win? I didn't see much. I saw when I got over there, it was uh, Hapatra at 19 life and David at four. Holy so, cow! So um, I, I think that from what David said, he got land flooded. He had eight oh, yeah, land. That's right. um, it's really tough. You know, I mean, again, a land land can always be your downfall. Whether you yes. get land screwed or land flooded, yep. it doesn't matter what deck you necessarily play. Um, oh, he, there we go. Steve got him to clear it up for us a little bit. Sweet. Um, yeah, certainly. Ooh, I'm going to zoom out here. Steve's adjusting the, the camera for us to make sure that we're on target with everything. That's pretty good. Um. <laughs> he fixed it, and then he made it worse. So, I think, it, I think, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, so close. You fixed it, and then you made it worse. Okay. <laughs> Oops. You're good. Um, so yeah, let's, I might oh, yell out to let him start Let him start here, I'll get it. Okay, okay thank you, Kylie. So yeah, again, semifinal matches on the line here. Uh, the difference between $20 and potentially 40 if you make it through the finals as the champion here. Um, David, if you haven't seen the other game, he took our quarterfinal match, and, um, he is our reigning champion as well, so the handshake here. Who's, right. our, who's our higher seed? Colin? Yeah, Colin finished the league at, at the highest point total with 41. David finished fifth with 37 points. So some pretty respectable uh, players and, and point counts. I know Kylie and I talked about that before. Um, yeah, 41 points is quite a lot. I think this lot. is the second time, too, because he yeah. had, I think he had like 42 last yeah. time. Yeah, Colin, uh, he's, he's a, a great player, great deck builder. So... Um, We'll definitely see what his brand of Hapatra is. <laughs> I'm excited to see this, actually. We have a mulligan on David's side already? Nope, he drew seven. Did he? This is the first draw. You're right. Wait, are you? One, it's hard to tell. No, I think he's right. All right, David lost, so he's going first. Lava Mancer. Um, pretty good start. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is the first round for them. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wait a minute, higher seed. <laughs> yeah, so they, so we already have uh, Chandra lost game one. Ooh, Lotus, Lotus Petal. Petal. Oh, that oh. is a good start. Oh, man. I have Hapatra out. Hapatra. Okay. That'll block that Grim Lava Mancer all day long. What's Hapatra's power toughness? 2-2, two, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. The big thing, too, is that uh, awesome. David's not going to want to lose the Lava Mancer. But if he doesn't block, Hapatra's going to start getting Hapatra engine online. So, a young Pyromancer. I did try to tell them to play with their hands revealed to the camera a little bit more. Okay. Uh, to help us out. <laughs> We've got a Rift Bolt, a Mountain, that one with the Circle of Fire. I can't tell. <laughs> young uh, Pyromancer. That's the. What's right. his name? Two for the young Pyromancer. I believe he cited that out in game one, right? With the, the, um... No, it was, uh... I know he had a gutter snipe that he took yeah. out. And something yeah, else. Two more. Was that, is that a maze of it? No. Nope, just the green, green, black. Um, I'm wondering... He really wants to get Hapatra in for damage. Um, there's, there's the smother, I believe. Yep. And he's not gonna... Yeah, he has to block, so... Yeah. If he doesn't block, he's going to lose the creature anyway. True. And then one more for Birds of Paradise. Please. Last turn. Patra is going fast. Looks like David might be stuck on two. Oh, no. He's got a third. third land. And he still has a land in hand, so. Okay. So Rift Bolt. He's got a 
promo? Is that a mind stone? Yeah. That's an M foil mind stone, it looks like. Does look like yep. So now he still has uh you know he's got two mana. So sack and draw. Probably the Abbott. For a suspend uh, rift bolt. Okay. So he's probably gonna try and get rid of the Hopatra, would be my guess. Last turn. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of land in in Colin's hand. No. So that bo that bird might be really valuable to yeah. him. Yeah. So maybe he bolts the bird. You're right. That's a woodland cemetery, huh? For a strangle root guys. Jeez. Such a good card. Yeah, he is. So. Getting some damage in. He's going to put the Nail and counter on the Strangle Root Geist, I believe. To give it... Un Why would you do that? To get a snake. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, because he doesn't have any other um, targets. targets for his opponent. Yep. Yep. I was thinking, why would you do that for Undying if he hasn't died quite yet? But <laughs> He comes right back. Yeah, boy, that's a, a pretty... That's some strong synergy there. Yeah, neat yep. interaction, of course. Yep. A plus one, plus one counter and a minus one, minus one counter negate. So you could undie in a Patra, a Strangle Root Geist forever as long as they both stay out. The Rift Bolt is suspending. Colin's pointing at himself. <laughs> hit me, hit, hit me. me. He wants to be himself. Yeah. I think uh, a Patra or the Bird, both good options. Again, another point to himself, David thinking. It's tough. Yeah, like, he probably wishes he could split that damage. Well, <laughs> now, now David knows. Oh, he nice. Now that was probably a bad decision. I don't know. Why do you think so, Kylie? Well, it should come back into play with oh, Undying, yeah. which he hasn't triggered it to well, come no, back into play. Well, no, because it's got the plus one, plus one counter on it. It has a negative one, negative one counter oh. on it. Undying should have it come back yeah, into play. Um, the reason is, is you saw Colin miss a land drop. Yeah. And he has a bird's out. Yep. I would just choke the oh, mana as much go. as I can. Okay, so it came back in with a plus one, plus one. Or I think they were discussing. So he, he changed his target to Hapatra uh, when Hapatra. he realized that the Undying was going to come back into play. Yeah. So a very sportsmanly thing for Colin there, I guess. Allowing the change. Yeah. Now, again, I still think bolting the bird was the right option. Um Although Hapatra and the the, str the Geist are going to start getting some real damage in. So uh, the bird will obviously not do any damage. Every time I get there, they figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> so now they have it. Oh, Abbot of Curl Keep, right? Yeah, that's okay. one of my favorite cards. So. Yeah. He revealed a lightning bolt when he played it on me. Yeah. It was devastating. Oh, you so know what? Land. What's up? When he put the negative one, negative one counter on the Stranglehold Geist, it should have undied back into play immediately. So that's why it has a plus one, plus one counter on it right now. Okay. But there should still be a one, one snake on the battlefield, which is not being represented from Hopatra. So we should definitely tell him that, right? Well, it's, it, kind it's of his a, choice to miss the trigger. Say, that's a missed okay. thing at this point. But the Geist, yeah, the, well, the Geist would still have a minus minus on nope. it. Nope, nope, because you put a minus, it's a two, one. You put in minus one, minus one uh, on it, it dies, it comes back into play with a plus one, plus one. Right. Um, so that is a plus one, plus one counter. Yeah. That is, so now it's a three, two. Right. I don't know what that is. Can't tell if there's a watermark. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a watermark on no. it. Something triggers. <laughs> So bird for a dismember. It looks like it. Yep, he's paying the life for this member. Yeah. It's just a you know four life. That's not so bad. Now why did he lose the other creature? Maybe it might have been a sack. He moved the abbot yeah, away. I it looked like. I think he was sacrificing. I don't know what gotcha. that card was. Gotcha. So David left with two land. There he got into his land there. So he's got four. He can play That's his commander again if wants. he needs to. It might be worth it to get the Stranglehold Geist back online as far as a, a good trigger. Yeah. But, oof, missing that. Oh, there's Yahini. Yeah, That's a nice haste option right there. That's five damage right there. So that, that definitely puts David on a clock. Yeah. A fast clock. Fast turn. That was turn f 
four. That was five. Because he missed a land drop. Nope, David started first, and he hasn't missed a land drop, so that was turn four for Colin. This is turn five okay. for currently. Colin. And David's getting mono flooded again. So this Chandra, he can. He has two lands in hand. He's getting mono flooded hard. He can ping the bird. But he doesn't have haste. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so it, it, uh, he could ping the bird, but. He's showing his hand. Pass turn. I think David. Uh, this is looking really bad for David. Yeah, Snow covered swamp. In a bad spot. Either way, he's going to probably have indestructible by sacrificing a creature, so. Yeah, just swing through and then see what, if anything, can be done. Because Colin doesn't know what's in the hand. I guess he's tapped out. David is, anyway. Yep. I'm waiting for an abrupt decay. <laughs> Yeah, I wondered why David tapped two mana. I thought it was the first time he cast his general, and it was, so he gave himself two mana back. So that's why you saw that happen. Uh, that looks like Victimize. Yep. So it's like a bird. Find something cool. Or it's not Victimize, then. It's uh, Diabolic something. Diabolic Edict? Or intent? Or? Yeah, I think Intent sounds right. It's been a long time since I played that card. <laughs> Comment in the comment section. Don't worry, guys. One of these days we'll have technology and have somebody sitting there and just typing everything in. Yep. It's a tutor. That's all I know. <laughs> a sack tutor. tutor. Sacrifice a creature. And it is diabolic intent. So okay. you, you sacrifice a creature and search for a card, put it into your hand. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> what, that it, wouldn't be that great right now. Yeah, it would be... Thrag task. Yeah. Didn't he have that? He did have it in his opening hand... Um, the first game. I oh no, Anafenza. Sorry, Anafenza had it and couldn't play it. That's when correct. When we watched yeah. our last match, we forget all that happened. Yeah, it was it was a quick match. I mean, that was just double land screw and like just getting bowled over. Unfortunately. Yeah. I can't wait to hear your guys' commentary on the game that I played. <laughs> that was a, it was a good match. Uh, yeah. It's like a forty minute match altogether. It was fun. It was rough. It was yeah, fun. it did look a little rough. That looks like a diabolic. Edict right there. Yep. Oh. Get so, out of here. Or is it Chainer's Edict? Or Chainer's Edict, yeah. yeah, that's right. So it's still a creature sack. I mean, this is it for David. He's. Yeah, especially with top three. deck. Why are we untapping? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, because it got a plus one, plus one counter. Cause it, oh, no, it has to be. How does that work? For Yehini? Yeah, I can't mm. remember. Yehini should get the counter, yeah. So that's going to be... that He represented yeah, it, but he, he hasn't represented it the, yeah. with dice. So so maybe another land there. That's, maybe top deck. that's it. That's it for our, our reigning champion there. Um, so Colin moves forward. David will get knocked out in the semifinals. So our final match will be Colin versus John. So Hapatra versus Zergo Bell Striker. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, if you haven't seen the quarterfinal match, check that out as well, or the other semifinal match. And we'll see you for the finals. All right.